Always investigating, 7 News asking tough questions after the Civil Service Commission overturns the suspension of a Denver police officer. The same officer seen in this video forcing a handcuffed shoplifting suspect to the ground. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez went straight to the commission to ask what's going on. Lance, the executive director telling you the process is fair. Mike, when you see a video of a police officer using what many people consider excessive force inside this Kmart back in 2007, it's hard to understand how a decision to discipline could be overturned. We wanted to know who makes those decisions and are they qualified? A man in handcuffs is pushed into a wall, then thrown to the ground. The officer was suspended, but a hearing officer overturned the suspension. Um, there's a perception that the Civil Service Commission is a rubber stamp for the police union, is it? No. It's absolutely not. Uh, Earl Peterson of the Denver Civil I'm Service Commission tells on. 7 News there's a process that's followed and that hearing officers are just one step. While they fall under the umbrella of the Civil Service Commission, they are independent. They're independent for, for the purpose of providing a third party oversight of the discipline that's administered. Are they qualified? They're qualified. I mean, they're licensed attorneys or labor attorneys. They're attorneys they're who they're understand due process rights. In the case involving Officer Rick Guzman, Peterson says the hearing officer didn't take the video into account because there was no proof it hadn't been altered, and there are questions about whether it would be admissible in court. Peterson noted that the videotape was supplied anonymously and that the person involved refused to testify. There was things that didn't bode well. The next step in the process is for the safety manager to decide whether to appeal the hearing officer's decision before the entire civil service board, which is made up of civilians. Peterson says the recent spate of high-profile discipline cases is unusual. He says most cases are settled without a problem. He says the commission tries at all times to be fair. If things are out of whack a little bit at times, rest assured that things will, cor will be corrected. And we should point out that the police captain who conducted the police department's internal disciplinary hearing for Officer Guzman gave him the opportunity to speak in his own behalf or on his own behalf. He chose not to. That captain concluded that what he observed on the surveillance video was, quote, not reasonable nor appropriate. In Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.